baby on the way you know what i'm saying yeah that is the time that i was groomed what's up so what it do was good what's popping what's going on Ooh. <laughs> Before we start today's video, you can check out my Instagram because if I don't post on here, I will most definitely post on there. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And that's why you got my. <laughs> today's video is gonna be about the time I was groomed by a 22, 23 year old dude while I was 15, turning 16, a freshman in high school. And this one, I promise you, is going to be way more detailed than the 35-year-old one because it wasn't much interaction with him. But with this 22, 23-year-old, it was more interaction. And I wish I knew his name so I can dox him. All I know is his name was Nick and that he was Italian. Do what you will with that information. Miami, Florida. <laughs> Basically, my freshman year, I went on this site called Meet Me. And I guess I was just like eager to have somebody like me. I was just mad and secure never really had anybody have a crush on me like especially tell me in person you know what i'm saying like it was just never had any attention when i got it i was like whoop take that thank you whoop i'm gonna take that whoop i'm gonna take that see thank you <laughs> thank you me and nick met on meet me and i guess he texted me first he was like oh are you real you look like you could be catfish because you're just so beautiful Da -da -da, like that a whole paragraph or whatever and um i responded and i was like hello i'm real thank you you're so sweet da -da 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 -da. and then i had said how old are you or whatever and then he was like how old are you and i was like oh i'm 15 turning 16 listen young lady if you ever ask to do how old he is and he try to make you answer first that means he getting ready to lie and just like match your age leave ASAP say okay never mind because he tripping he bugging he know what he doing Nick told me that he was 17 at the time and I was like oh, okay cool yeah yeah da, da, that's not bad da, 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 da. <laughs> fast forward we were talking for like three weeks yeah we were talking for at most three weeks later on uh he told me that he was 22 he was like oh I feel bad for lying da, 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 da. I'm like well you should never lie in the first place but me being all you know giddy giddy for her male attention I'm like okay that's fine you know we can figure this out it's fine I'm not tripping da, da, da. so I told one of my friends I'm gonna call her Jenny <laughs> I told Jenny about this guy she's like oh let me see a picture he's like oh she all right you know whatever, whatever. I'm like yeah he, you know whatever <laughs> but it's cool <laughs> He's, he's not bad. He's cute to me. Whatever. Fast forward, Nick's like, oh, we should meet up. What do you want to do? I'm like, oh, we could go to the beach. Because at least I wasn't dumb to try to meet up somewhere private. I wanted somewhere public. But either way, I was still dumb. I'm not going to front. I was still dumb. I accept that. <laughs> so I was like, hey, uh, Jenny, you want to go to the beach with me? Um, I don't want to go by myself. Um, if you don't go, then I'm not going to go. If you don't want me to go, then I'm not going to go. If you say that we should go, then we can go. Whatever. I'll get you food. <laughs> so she was like, oh, no, we can go. Out there. I'm like, you sure? She was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. We can go. So we skipped school. We went to this Burger King and he picked us up at this Burger King. I was so stupid, y'all. Literally, anything could have happened. He could have literally pulled out a gun and then look, boom. I put me and my friend in danger. Then what? All because of me and my insecurity, my wanting of male attention. Sorry, Jenny. I'm sorry. You were a dope friend at that moment for going with me. I forgot to mention that the reason me and Jenny decided to wait at Burger King was because that was the meetup spot for Nick to pick us up. And while waiting, me and Jenny were talking and then she showed me her phone and was like, isn't this Nick? He texted me too. And then she showed me the text that he sent her on Facebook and it was the same paragraph that I told her about, uh, the same paragraph that he sent me talking about catfish, etc, etc, are you real, etc, etc. And then when I found out about it, I confronted him through text. And then, you know, he acted all dumb and then he gaslit me and me being me all dumb and stuff like that. I was like, oh no, um, whatever, whatever. And then he was like, oh, you just don't want to meet up, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, I'm already here. So it'll be no point of us not meeting up. And then we've been talking for a long while. So what would be the point of not meeting up? It might as well happen. So yeah. So yeah, we go to the beach and it's all nice and then we sit on the chair and here comes one of the workers like oh you guys can't sit on this chair then he sees nick and then he was like oh okay and then he leaves so first you see the black girl but you tell her that she can't sit there then you see the white guy you're like oh la -di -da, you can stay <laughs> oh god so i was like okay whatever i'm gonna stay anyway so yeah fast forward um i didn't want jenny to be bored so i let jenny use my phone so she's texting she was uh, she was whatever she's taking pictures and stuff like that and me and nick are over here making up yeah 
we were making out. <laughs> the whole thing that Jenny was doing over on my phone. Turns out she was telling our other friend. What should I call this other friend? Let me look around. Loretta. <laughs> We're gonna call this friend Loretta. So she was texting our other friend Loretta all the deeds. Mind you, I had not told Loretta anything because you know we are friends, but like I don't like everybody in my business. So I just don't really like everybody knowing my business. But she was literally sneak dissing on my phone, sending pictures to Loretta, texting Loretta, like, oh, why is she sitting up here kissing this guy? She barely know why she's doing this. She's at a beach, she came to the beach with this guy. Shit. I found out because you know it's my phone. I'm gonna look at my phone. And you forgot to log out a messenger. Of course I'm gonna see it <laughs> I'm like wow so Loretta and you are sitting up here just sneak this thing about me and Loretta wasn't gonna say a thing because when I got the phone I was like oh um don't tell Suzanne anything and then Loretta was like oh, okay you know I won't da -da 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 -da. keep that part in mind but me and Nick we sat there making out of course we got talk for a little bit he was like oh your eyes are so beautiful I'm I know Hello guys, I don't even know what she's talking about, but she's doing a great job, so make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, so annoying. Where should I put this? Yeah. I love you. Love you too. Air hug. We were at the beach, we had talked for a little bit, he complimented my eyes. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Because you know, I never got a compliment on my eyes. I basically never got a compliment, okay? So, yeah, there's that. He was just complimenting me. And I was just like, oh, this is so nice. In my head, I'm like, uh... You got poop in your eyes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. What's it called? You know the little thingies like when somebody just wake up, whatever, you see a little something in their eyes. That's what he had. And that's what I was looking at. I was just like, thank you. My, my eyes are nice, but yours, on the other hand. Um, did you watch your face? <laughs> After the beach, he takes us to McDonald's. I don't eat McDonald's. Like, I had not eaten McDonald's in a long time. I guess we stopped, like, seventh grade. We just stopped eating McDonald's, my family and stuff like that. He took us there. He was like, you want anything? I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. And I asked my friend. I was like, hey, do you want something? And then he got her something, which is cool. And then he got himself some fries or whatever. And I just took some of his fries to be all cute, take a side of his fries. But it was nasty. <laughs> so, long story short. He drops me off at the school and you know they let us in whatever we find some excuse doctor appointment la la and they let us in whatever and then we keep texting from there he keep texting from there and he was like oh you're so mature for your age typical profile stuff <laughs> yeah we were just flirting and stuff like that it was a vibe it was cool at the moment over time I just started realizing that he lame he's just weird he's a weirdo Oh, he would text me and then I was like, oh, you're so funny, friend. And then he got offended and he was like, oh, friend, that's what we are now, just friends. Blah, blah, blah. And then I read it and then I blocked him. And ever since then, we haven't talked because he weird. And I'm be honest, in that situation, responsible for my actions, I am. But he is responsible for his actions. So you're a grown man. You got to be able to know when to say, nah, sis, I ain't trying to risk it for you. You're in ninth grade. You're a freshman, baby girl. But I could have also been the one to be like, oh, he lied about his age, deuces, you know? Like I said, insecure, seeking male attention. And then back to my friend part and Loretta. I forgot what name I said for her, so I'm gonna <laughs> say my friend and Loretta. So my friend and Loretta, a couple of days later when I saw the messages, when I saw that it was sneak dissing or whatever, I cut them off. My friend was still logged in to her Facebook, so I was just, you know, checking it to see what else they were saying. And Loretta was like, oh, Suzette is so bipolar, she's so fake, because one one day she's okay with us and then next day she's not nah sis you're fake you sitting up here sneak this in the type of friend that i've always been is look if i got three friends and two of them is talking about this friend i'm gonna i'm gonna let that friend know that you shouldn't be talking about them if you have something to say let that friend know because i'm gonna just let them know because we're not doing this whole little fake circle thingy i was never for that kind of fake sneak this in friendship circle that's bullcrap like why so that's why i felt some type of way i'm like we're friends and you sit up here allowing another friend to talk about me and not even allowing you're entertaining it so that makes you fake too ever since then i've literally never talked to loretta but for my other friend we make conversation here and there never like a whole nine yard or whatever but we make conversation here that i forgive her because you know it's the past we were all young and basically i called her out on the sneak this in part and i'm like bro how you go sit here sneak this about me on my own phone does that make sense 
And I did say some things that I probably shouldn't have said that makes me also fake in this situation because in the text message when she was saying how, oh, how I'm sitting up here making out with a guy I don't even know, I basically threw on her face, oh, how you lose your virginity to a guy you barely know. And I should have because, you know, I'm sure she regret it. That's still fake energy. I should have kept my mouth shut. So I just have that. So now my friend is doing good. We're grown now. My friend is pregnant, baby on the way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is the time that I was groomed and ended it. Crazy, I ended it, not him. <laughs> that is so crazy. Yeah, he was weird. He was a lame. I could have done better. Deuces, hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget, you can check out my Instagram because if I don't post on here, I will most definitely post on there. Bye.